Intro time. Here we go. I see you gather before me. Hungry, terrified, clutching your babes to your breast. Emperor Elia has marched his legions into our lands, laid siege to every fortress from here to the Blue Mountains. Rabid and ravenous, he bites and bites away. Men of the North, you stand at the precipice. Your kings have failed you, so now you turn to the gods. And yet you do not plead. You do not kneel to dust your heads with ash. Instead, you wail, why have the gods forsaken us? We must look into the trials we failed long ago. In a time past, our world intertwined with another through an upheaval scholars call the conjunction of the spheres. The gods allowed unholy forces to slip into our domain. The offspring of that cataclysm was the nefarious force called magic. Yet we did not banish it, instead studying the vile arcane for our own power and wealth. And the monsters at our door, the unholy relics of this conjunction, the trolls, the corpse eaters, the werewolves, did we raise our swords against them? Or have we laid this burden on others? On so-called witches. Stray children taught the ways of foul sorcery. Their bodies mutated through blasphemous ritual. Sent to fight monsters, though they could not distinguish good from evil. The flicker of humanity long extinguished within them. <laughs> yes, their numbers have dwindled through the years. But a few still roam our lands, offering their bloody work for coin. To this day, they shame us with their very existence. The North bleeds! Flogged by war! The battles are the gods' whip, chastisement for our sins. And let us not forget the terrors, the scourges from beyond our world. The wild hunt rides the sky with every full moon. The Dark Raiders abduct our children into lands unknown. Some say they herald a second conjunction. Can we chart a course back into the light? Will we find the strength to banish the mages from our kingdoms? Unite around the warmth of the eternal fire. Nigh is the time of the sword and axe. None will fight this war in our stead. Nigh is the time. Okay, so that's the intro to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which is the new series that I will be doing. My name is Rido. I am a YouTuber, video game critic, and all of that. And so that's what we're going to get to. We're going to be playing it on an Xbox 360 controller plugged into a brand new PC, which I just bought uh, through the last drop of my savings so I could play this game uh, so I hope you enjoy this I hope you appreciate it uh, I think you will I like The Witcher 2 have been played in a long time I'm not gonna remember well. one thing I want to do before we get into the game is we have I have adjusted everything to high on post-processing and everything to ultra on graphics so we'll try that uh, and hopefully that will work I've also adjusted the audio to half maybe hopefully that is the right balance between my voice while I will be talking about this game uh, and the scenes uh, the cutscenes Speaking of cutscenes, there's one little problem here. I'm gonna have to go silent at this very first cutscene unless I can skip it. 
because The Witcher 3 is based on uh, a series of novels and uh, in it is a tradition in Witcher games that is mature rated and there is nudity and there is sex and in fact this very first intro has a bare bottom of our lady friend and YouTube doesn't appreciate that I'm not allowed to show it as far as I understand the community standards so I'm gonna go silent so I can edit that out or we'll skip the scene we'll see if it allows us to do that uh, so if you want to see digital bare bottoms for some reason you're gonna have to buy the Witcher 3 I think you're gonna want to buy the Witcher 3 anyways uh, let's get into it now here is the first choice and I am not sure which one I want I know the two I don't want. I don't want the death march you are truly insane and loving it and I don't want blood and broken bones you're a seasoned demanding gamer the question is Am I happy to be challenged, or would I prefer just to enjoy a smooth ride through the world? Um, so we have easy, normal, hard, and then super hard. I think we'll go with normal. Sword, story and sword. Uh, I'm a good enough gamer. I think I can be that, do that. Show tutorials. Yes, I'm going to need all the tutorials. It's been a long time. Simulate a Witcher 2 save. Yes, I played the Witcher 2. Can I tell you what happened? Not really.
okay, so I'll explain that in a second. And there's this kid. So, that was the scene that I had to skip for the naked bot bottom right there. And I was able to do it, so great. Uh, what we just saw there was the Witcher, our main character, Geralt of Rivia, is um, a Witcher, of course, and he was tracking some lady that might have been Yennefer. The woman who he's been looking for for uh, quite a while, probably since the first game, and who is being chased by this demonic horde called the Wild Hunt. But we'll get into all of that later. Let's just go through the tutorial, since everything is. Welcome to The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. This tutorial will introduce the game's core elements. Each message will be saved in the glossary where you will find detailed information about the world lore and gameplay mechanics. To s disable tutorials, go to the options menu. Alright, so, also if you can hear my new computer's fan going at potentially full blast, I apologize for that. Hopefully I'll be able to um, do something about that eventually. I'll, right now the sides are off because I was missing some CPU case fans if that matters to anybody so they're on their way so the mini map and objectives the mini map is in the upper right hand corner of your display showing your current location and the surrounding area underneath the mini map you'll find your objectives so we can see our map use your witcher senses to find the key to the bedroom door so we're trying to get out of this room. So before we get out, let's take a nice shit. Mountain pass as beautiful as ever. Look out here. Uh, some time must have happened since The Witcher 2 because this is certainly not like doesn't feel like the day after. Uh, which is a very scarred up and cut up because they spend their entire life fighting. They carry two swords, a silver sword for demons and a steel sword for humans. They can't use the silver sword on humans because their armor would bend the metal. Alright, so if we hold the left trigger, it goes into this wheeled fisheye, which is census thing, where we can start looking at things we might be able to interact with and pick up. So. Here's something, and once we took it off, we can you're examine it. Juice. I know. You might bring me some more once you're done training. Oh, that's Yennefer. Interesting. Yennefer is the bare bottom lady. She's now only scantily clad in her underwear, brushing her hair. But before she was sitting in this chair, reading in the buff. So I can extinguish candles magically. Kind of seems like a waste of magic. The ignite part, I get. The extinguish, you know, you could just grab the flame with your fingers, you know. You can extinguish that can light candle. You know, these are all fire hazards. So, we need to do this. Uh, our, and I started off in the scene in the bathtub. It's a pretty good scene if you're a mature uh, adult and want to go check it out somewhere else. Or when you play the game. So can I ignite these candles? No. I'm s walking around this room, particularly because I've seen some other people who got early access to this game, and you know what they didn't do? They didn't walk around the room and look, see what could interact with. You can jump with B, I don't think you're going to do too much. However, jumping did bring up a life bar and everything. Let's talk to you in the first. See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. 
Okay, you're right, I should go see Siri. I'm supposed to go see Siri and uh, help her train. <sighs> yeah, better go see Siri. So go and train with her, then come back. It'll give me a chance to put my face on. Of all the women I've known, you're the only one who does that before. You've known many. What's it matter? <laughs> only ever thought of you. Yeah. That is certainly an understatement. The Witcher has quote unquote known in the biblical sense lots and lots of women. Uh, I'm trying to get the timeline down because we have Unifer here. Maybe we found Unifer at the very end of The Witcher 2. But now we're all settled and moved in and living together. Let's examine this. We've found the key lying on the book. Wasn't a hard thing to find, really. Extinguish this. I'm kind of looking to see if there might be an achievement at this point for turning off all these candles. All these fire hazards. Uh, I don't think so. I can't turn this one off. It's too... Nope, I can't. There we go. I'd hate for the place to burn down. Let's get out of this room. If any achievement unlocked, I don't know about it. I got this game free with the video card I purchased for the new computer. Which is a GTX 970, by the way. And as that, it was delivered through good old games, which is, I believe, the preferred uh, method from the creators. Project CD Red? Or just Project Red, maybe. Old Witcher's fast asleep. Series disappeared somewhere, of course. She prefers practice to theory. Hmm? Why? Time to wake up, Master. Are these lessons so boring they put you to sleep too? Damn it. Better taking notes on ghouls and owl ghouls. Wanted to rest my eyes a bit. <laughs> Making her slog through that brick? No wonder she took off. John of Bruges lacks flair, true, but he's reliable. Not like the hogwash they print nowadays. She's tackling the pendulums, right? How many times do I have to tell her? Don't train alone. It only embeds your errors. Bring our young damsel to the lower courtyard. She wants to practice. She'll get to practice. Don't get mad at her. Why the hell not? The whippersnapper refuses to do as she's told. You like that about her? <laughs> Fine. I suppose I'm partly to blame. But this has to end. Now. Killing monsters is not something to be taken lightly. Siri must understand that if she's to become one of us. I'll see you below. so eager to practice. Strike! Take off the blindfold. 
You've got work to do. Your reflexes are still slow. Maybe for a witcher. Think drowners or striggers will go easy on you because you haven't undergone the mutations? Though in your shoes, I'd fear Vesemir more than any strigger. Disobeying his instructions? Unwise. Well, yes, but that book was horribly dull. I know, and you know that's no excuse. <sighs> I'm sorry. It won't happen again. Better not. Vesemir said if it does, he'll make you eat a bowl of slugs covered in salt. <laughs> you! Exactly. So you'd best behave. Come on, we'll practice with the others down below. Shall we run the walls? Of course. Is a witcher school or an elven bathhouse? Get to the bottom. <laughs> Maybe if you fall. So now we're in a race with Siri. What, what was it? CC. I forget. Uh, jump to climb over. So what did I tell you about breathing? Through your mouth, in rhythm with your steps. <sighs> Siri, cut it out. Uh. I don't know who the old witcher is. I don't know who Siri is. Uh, I don't know how to climb down ladders properly. Let's let the little girl win. Let's see, press B while running to. Run into trouble. Should I turn back and help you? <clears throat> Make her think we're chasing. There we go, we'll use the ladder. Apparently, can't slide down ladders. Uh, witchers are an industry, they fight monsters for reward and money. They aren't all silver head. Well, maybe they are after they get the mutations. I'm not sure. And they use magic and alchemy to mutate themselves, make them stronger, more powerful. Assumedly, those are witchers too, over there, so they don't have silver hair. Anything to say for yourself, young lady? I'm very sorry, Uncle Vesemir. Young blood craves action, I understand that. But when you fight a beast, knowledge counts as much as your silver sword. At the very least, you ought to be able to tell a ghoul from an owl ghoul. By markings, like unto the panthera tigris that in Zeracania dwells, and by the sickly paleness of its visage. Mm. So you did read the chapter. Still, you should have asked if... But you were asleep, Uncle Vesemir. So you did the reading. Why not admit it right off? Never pounce on an advantage as soon as it appears. Wait till it stands to have maximum effect. Uncle Vesemir's words. Well, you're a quick study. Quick, but mischievous. Fine, we've talked enough. Geralt, you're with me, Lambert with Eskel, Siri with a dummy. Again? Stop groaning and grab a sword. What do you think? Should we start by reviewing the fundamentals or go right to free training? Let's start with the fundamentals. I don't remember how any of these controls work. Should work on the basics. Even skilled masters need to hone the fundamentals, and Siri's barely a novice. So Siri is the niece to Uncle Vesemir there. Is Uncle Vesemir related to Geralt? Your sword, Geralt. There's a lot of backstory in the, the books that I haven't read, so I don't know. Witchers must be prepared to fight all kinds of foes. Be they clad, 
plate clad knights, ethereal race, or bone crushing giants. To match the strength and exploit the weaknesses of different enemies, witches need to use a variety of weapons and combat techniques. The core tools, tools of their trade are their swords. One skill for fighting humans and non-humans, uh, which I guess are like elves, and the other silver for slaying monsters. Witchers ha have also mastered a simple form of combat magic. These signs are not as powerful as the spells wielded by mages, but they can be cast very quickly with simple one-handed gestures, making them quite useful in the heat of combat. Witches are also adept in basic alchemy. They can brew the powerful potions, blade, oils, and bombs, all of which will keep give them a keen advantage when fighting stronger foes. So draw our swords. Press the right on the D-pad to draw your steel sword. To shield it, see, sheath it, hold that down, or press right. So press left to draw. Selecting targets, press the right trigger to select. When you have selected a large target, uh, all your attacks are directed towards it. You don't have to select the target during combat, but doing so can help you focus on specific opponents. So, right stick to lock on, aim, and mark him as your target. Let's see. Quick cuts! One, two, three! Mount a fast attack by pressing X. Come for it! Enough! I'm too old for this shit. Three times. Strong strikes now. Give it all you got. Did he just say I'm too old for this? <laughs> strong attacks with a Y. Two. Three. Position Siri. Footwork. Remember. That's interesting. I knocked him directly in the Siri. I wonder if that was intentional. To dodge, indicate a direction using the left trigger and press B. The wait to roll, press A and indicate the direction. It's kind of freezing time on us for the tutorial, which is nice. Siri, see how Geralt holds his sword, it's angled. So press right, left trigger the parry attack. Come on, come closer. Just hold it. Pretend now, live later. Repost! Strike! So, press the left trigger to just before your opponent strikes to counterattack. Alright. Alright, that was one counterattack. Just kicking him in the stomach. <laughs> Uh, now, young lady, to bring the day to a close, we'll go over a few witches. So, signs. quick access menu. Let's this game has a lot going for it. Activate the Quinn sign. So, uh, holding the right bump, we have Yodin, the magical chap, Quinn, a protective shield, Igni, an ignite of flame, uh, Axie influences the opponent's mind, and Arid, a telekinetic blast. So they want us to activate Quinn, and press A. To cast it, it's just a right trigger. Siri, Quinn is sometimes called the Witcher's Shield. Now watch carefully to see why. The Quinn signal protects you against damage and certain critical effects. Cast Igni, Geralt. I want to see sparks fly. Alright, Igni. And then... See? If not for the Quen sign, I'd be aflame by now. Yeah. Alright, Geralt. Come on! Cast the Arid sign. See that, Siri? Ard will knock anyone or any... Ard. Okay. Time for Axie. Damn it. I hate this feeling. Axie influence the minds. Axie can really muddle your mind. 
so of course I could go now. attack Show her, girl. And the last is Yurden. Come on! See this, Siri? Couldn't move if I wanted to. Throw a bomb. Just... Don't worry, Siri. Quen will dampen the blow. So now he's giving us a training bomb, which we can throw at the right bump. What now? Stand on the spot indicated. Is it this glowing light? And then hold RB while aiming at one of the highlighted training posts. Had enough. And release the throw. Combat tutorial is now over. If you want to continue training with Vesemir, uh, simply, if you want to, can continue training with Vesemir, to stop, simply see sheath your sword. Fine, enough. Continue training and win. <laughs> well, let's see. I'm not gonna go out like that. So, just doing a little experiment here. Uh, sitting here and just beating on the controller is not proving to be a super effective system. Now, when I I'm too old for this shit. He has an unlimited amount of lives, and it looks like I really don't. So I suppose I could sit here and die. But, which might be an interesting trick. It's important to point this out, though. Here. Just see those shoulders. Forward. She's back. We'll set her to polishing all the swords at Care Morhen. Find that helmet. Siri. Uh, I'll make sure to find every last blade for you. Twelve seventy two, May. You all right? <laughs> Had a nightmare. About? It'd take forever to explain. Dawn, some way off. We've got time. Started in the guest room at Kermoran. 
was relaxing in a tub and next to me... Tris? Yennefer. Funny, isn't it? She's never been there. Seems so real in my dream, though. Was she nagging you about something? <laughs> True to life, indeed. We'll find her. In the dream, I went and found Ciri. Then we trained. Those were the days. Hmm? Little she-devil. I've trained kids who were faster, stronger, but none had her character. Didn't end well, did it, your dream? No. A wild hunt appeared, attacked Ciri. I couldn't move, stood there like a stump. It was just a dream. That's the problem. It was more. In the past, when Ciri had appeared in my dreams, something was wrong. She was in danger. We taught her how to defend herself from anything, wraiths included. Be dawning soon. Time to go. Wait! Show me the letter from Yennefer. Might have overlooked some hint in there. Didn't overlook anything. We were meant to meet in Willoughby. That's what she wrote. Meanwhile, one army or another burned the village to the ground. All we can do is follow her trail, so... Stop talking for a minute and give me the letter. Oh, how about that? It does smell of lilac and gooseberries. You were gonna read it, not sniff it. We must meet soon. Willoughby near Vizima. Hmm. Nothing else to guide us there. What's this postscript? I still have the unicorn? That's private. Very private. Aha. I understand. At least I think I do. Maybe not entirely, but perhaps that's for the best. Back on topic. How's it look? How far behind Yennefer are we? Two or three days. Trail's fresh. But it looks like it leads towards the main road. Could be muddled there. Wait, hear that? I hear it. I smell it. Ghouls. Monsters, life on the continent and in the Skellige Isles is nasty, brutish, and short. War lays waste to the land, and those it spares live in fear of countless monsters lurking outside every town and village. Monsters are shown with silver health bar above their heads, indicating that you should fight them with your silver sword. So, we have a mission now to kill the ghouls. Let's do this. This is a lot easier than fighting him. Uh, I didn't bother to. These pretty weak monsters. We're gonna be doing a lot of monster slaying in this game. Looks like I just could slice through the uh, horse with no problem, which is always nice. You don't want to kill your own horse on accident. Striking opponents generates adrenaline points. Certain abilities you can acquire allow you to perform special attacks that require and consume adrenaline points. Your adrenaline points slowly decline when you are not engaged in combat. Of course, when armies pass, necrophages follow. Let's go before any more show up. You can regenerate vitality by eating or drinking or by meditating for at least one hour. Now, while playing on the blood and broken bones and death march difficulty levels, meditation does not regenerate vitality. 
Food and drink can be placed in your consumable slots for quick use during combat. Press up or down to consume them and regenerate vitality. You have some food equipped to your upper consumable slot. Press nap up on the D-pad now to eat it and regenerate a potion of your vitality. How would you play this game? Uh, to have your horse come to you, double press the left trigger. It will eat some food to regenerate the vitality. Interesting, there was no action there. It just puts a little green circle in the top left that counts down and regenerates your health. Uh, I have no idea how many keys you would use trying to play this game on mouse and keyboard. And I don't ever want to find out. Let's mount Never this tell horse. You about this sorcerer I knew. Couldn't stop talking about how useful they are as creatures. Horses, witchers spend most of their time on the road in search of their next contract. They must trek across wide valleys and climb over high mountain peaks and trudge through thick bogs. Luckily, Garrett can always count on this horse, Roach, to help him in his travels. To have Roach come to you, double click the left trigger. Well, we, you just told us that. <laughs> Guide your horse movement because you using can brew the left potions trigger. from their blood. <laughs> no. Whole day by while moving to Canada. They prevent epidemics. Hmm. Did he know they eat the living as well? No. Really upset him too. His theory collapsed. Horses like to stay on the road, so I don't have to actually uh, press Boy, anything exactly besides hold the A button here. We have a side. The Northern Realms. Radovid's realms, don't you mean? Tamaria and Edirne are no more. Radovid's pledged to restore the old borders as soon as he wins the war. Believe that? <laughs> Gotta believe something. That's what keeps us going. So I could double tap A here to make him go faster, but I don't want to. Uh, one of the hardest things about being a YouTuber is the deciding when to stop an episode. Oh, there, Roach. And once we get where we're going, Slower. that's where we're gonna stop. Uh, we going? This has been our tutorial introductory episode. I hope Help you enjoyed me. it. Help. Okay, we're gonna end on this Griffin fight. The Griffin fight. It's gone. Yeah. Come out. Gods, that was close. I was sure I'd end up like my mare. Provided you got lucky. Your horse died quickly. But griffins like to toy with their prey. Eat it. Alive. Piece by piece. Oh. You'd... you'd like a reward, I suppose. Hmm. We do fight creatures. We are witchers. And he did say help us. But we can be nice guys, too. Let's be nice guys. You don't owe us anything. You were in need. We helped. And they call witches heartless say they won't lift a finger without pay. They also say mice are born of rotting straw. Back to the trail. Like I said, leads to the main road and ends there, muddled. 
You seek someone? Yes, a woman. Medium height, long black hair. Seen anyone like that? No. But... There's an inn here in White Orchard. Sole one around gets its share of travelers. Perhaps you'll learn something there? Besides, the innkeep's my cousin. Tell her Bram sent you. She'll treat you like family. Not a bad idea. Especially since that wound needs cleaning. Ah, beast barely grazed me. But sure, could use a good rye. Nice and cool, you know, straight from a cellar. Let's go. Okay. So that is where we're gonna end. We've got a new entry in our bestiary. That's our list of people we, uh, creatures we've met. And so that's where we're going to end it. Uh, here's the start menu, what it looks like. I thought I would just be able to uh, exit out here. There's griffins, and then necrophages. Uh, I'm in a tutorial for the tutorial. There's some tutorials, some characters. Uh, Cirilla, uh, Fiona, Ellen, Rionan, Dandelion we haven't met, Eskel we saw for a second, uh, maybe we did see Dandelion, Geralt of Rivia, Lambert Bessemer, apparently doesn't have a last name, so there is some more backstory here, we can do some crafting when we get some items, we will get into that more, we will get into alchemy, Right now, uh, look at all this. I do not recall any of this being in our setup here uh, in the original game. They have changed The Witcher 3, uh, how it plays a lot compared to Witcher 2, and uh, it's, it's probably going to be an improvement. Uh, we're getting all kinds of tutorials that we're probably not ready to see. All I wanted to do was exit. Uh, so how does one exit the game? Hmm. So you have to hit the back button. Okay. Save game. That's going to be the end of this episode I hope you enjoyed it I am going to be releasing episodes all throughout a good long time probably a couple months because this is a really long game and uh, they will all be released about the same time Monday through Friday as this episode is released maybe a little bit earlier maybe a little bit later make sure you subscribe to my channel that way you know when you get the new episodes. We're going to go all the way through this game unless something horrible happens, but probably won't. Um, I end all my episodes the same way. I ask you to like my videos. I ask you to share it with your friends. I am a brand new YouTuber. I need every single subscriber, every single like, every single share. Uh, comment if you want to. Uh, and watch every second of my videos. A lot of people don't know. That helps you with YouTube. If people watch your video and then stop a minute in, it gives less ratings than if somebody spends the time to watch the whole thing. And you even get more if people bother to go back and watch it a second time. Uh, if you want to support me, it would be greatly appreciated. I just spent the, every last penny I had, basically, uh, building a new computer to do this series. And... Uh, any donations you could make would be greatly appreciated. Uh, you can do that clicking on my name, Rido. That'll take you to my main YouTube page. That's where you can subscribe again. But on the right is a blue button that says support this channel. So you just click there and make a donation. If you want to follow or friend me on any social media site, uh, that way you're doubly sure you see when new episodes come out. I have links down below in the description for all of them, or practically every site that I could think of. Uh, and that's it. So thank you for watching. Have a good evening.